of things to cancel it with familiars, with venge, with morphling stun. So, no, Bane, Bane definitely a pick I wasn't expecting. I guess he's actually going to go back in. He's going to charge Sonico now. He's using a Tango. If he gets a couple bashes, this could be a potential first blood. Trixie, one right click, two. No bashes just yet. He's going for another. He gets the bash, Sonico. He gets slowed, though. He's not getting the second right click he needs. Oh, Trixie. Oh, he doesn't get the kill on that right click either. And the slows from a boss a second charge. Oh, my God. He's got the first blood. He's trying to juke around the trees now. He's kind of uh, playing with Havost a little bit here. Ring around to Rosie. Let's uh, do it a boss season while well, he'll go down in return. <laughs> Interesting opening to this game in the offlane. I don't understand this 4ESC lineup right now, but we were expecting Navi to come off with a really good start in this game. And there are 2,000 gold behind minute 6, with a, which is something you almost actually never see from a fire range drow lineup. Because that lineup is built to win the lanes by just having raw damage and then transitioning into pushing as well. They will be finding one kill here on Boogie. Uh, I think that's going to be it though, as TP was cancelled from Volix. And Trixie yep. is Ooh, now left Bobo's alone. mid lane gets the stun off the waveform and Dendi. Oh, nice two hero RP! Is there a skewer backwards? There is. Nemfi has a skewer, no mana for a shockwave, and he stays alive. And with the TP in from the jump, the Omni Slash kill goes on to Dendi, and DK Fogel's getting charged here. Four anchors just reading Navi so well here. Trixie with the GG bash. <laughs> Instant pause. <laughs> if this was a pub game, he writes questions. Alright, breaker, 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 breaker. Let me... Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You sound pretty okay. good. Navi 5 man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, well, they're gonna have to do something. Here comes the charge onto Wolf. Oh, they missed the skewer! Oh. Trixie now in trouble. He gets swapped back in as well. This will be an easy pick off for Navi. The wave from forward from Phobos gets the big stun onto Nemphi. It's kind of, well, not really saved there. The nightmare kind of delayed the inevitable as Navi still get the kill. They're just going from objective to objective here. And hey, easy racks. Valix can be forced in, gets uh, silent stuff, and there's your repel juggernaut. He'll actually take out those familiars, which Sonico couldn't resummon while nightmare up. A small victory for your Matumbo. All right, we've, we've got no syndrome. <laughs> well, apparently you don't do anything. You uh, <laughs> you let things happen here. Valix now gonna get pushed back here. They're gonna go in. There's your RP from your Magnus. Catches that only two with the Omni Slash follow up, but the damage output wasn't really there. I'm not sure if the Jug even had enough power on it. Well, Navi just gonna destroy four anchors in their own base. It's three heroes on the sidelines. Two heroes gonna buy back out after this and melee racks being claimed. Trixie gonna charge back through. Catches out pretty much everyone. Havals on the back line. Gets a gust off. Trixie didn't actually get hit by this but he hasn't got another strike anyway. Two more on the sidelines. Matumba man fleeing away. And Navi look like they may have game one secured. Hopefully for the better so I can try to get Sin back in action. As we will see, the tier 3 tower at middle lane being brought down. I'm getting new new, new team speak information from Cinderin. We'll uh, get back into that one in just a second here. Nemphi going to be uh, pressured out of this lane. It looks like, I imagine GG call coming any second now. Four anchors. Just getting out DPS. Navi, second lane of Rax. GG is called. Guys, sorry for some of the uh, audio issues coming out from Cinderin. We're going to try to fix things up during the break before game two of this best of three. But Navi have taken game one against the four anchors and sea captain. We'll see if they can bounce back or if it's going to be a Navi 2 0. So, guys, stick around. Don't go anywhere. We're going to fix up some of these audio issues and hopefully bring you a crisp sounding game two. I'm God's joining me with Cinderin. This is the Summit 3 by Gigabyte. Don't go anywhere.